Hello, my name is Ray Power from Castle Arch Pottery. We're here in the Castle Yard in Kilkenny, right across from the Design Centre and St John's Castle. I've been in full-time production for the last 16 years. Uh, we produce um, pottery, giftware, for the retail and wholesale market. Some of the people we'd supply would be the likes of the Kilkenny Shop in Dublin, Arnott's in Dublin, Medicine Burn Nationwide, people like that. Um, how I arrived at Craft was I spent four years in the Crawford Art College in Cork and studying ceramic design. It was a natural progression then into the world of pottery business. I moved up here to Kilkenny to attend the Craft Council business course. Um, I spent a year studying business, um, how to sell to shops and galleries, do accounts, things like that. There was a workshop right across from the Craft Council uh, available at the time. I was lucky to get that and I've been here ever since. You wouldn't think it, but a lot of my work is inspired from architecture. During my four years in art college, uh, a lot of the work I was doing was based on uh, buildings, uh, columns, um, derived from Roman architecture in particular. Um, and then as time has gone on, those things have been filtered through the work, especially in the hand-built pieces I make. A favourite and challenging part of the production is glazed technology. Each year we spend uh, a few weeks working on new colours, new firing processes to suit the marketplace. Um, the mixing of these uh, materials to come up with colours is um, it's a daunting task, um, but the final results are well worth it. When we were designing a product here in the workshop, uh, we would review how sales have been in the last year um, and then look what's happening in the marketplace by visiting shops or looking at design-led magazines. We design initially on paper and then these designs then are relayed onto uh, the wheel by throwing a piece or hand building and we launch these new products then at a trade show such as Showcase in January. What sets us apart from other uh, craftspeople involved in pottery, um, our, our competitors, uh, would be the way that we decorate. We use a process called slip trailing. Um, it's like drawing freely on a piece and then the glaze um, sits very nicely on it when it's fired. Um, the process involved from uh, the initial stage, which is throwing on a wheel by a uh, master potter, um, each piece uh, is thrown individually. Um, we then leave it maybe for a day to dry out a bit to harden so that we can hold it. Um, then we use our slip trailing process again, which I refer to. Then the pieces are left to dry until they're bone dry. And then they're put in a kiln to, and fired to a thousand degrees centigrade. Our glazes then are applied and they are refired then to 1200 degrees centigrade. It's great to get a compliment when customers of ours uh, are passing through here and picking up our pottery. They're initially attracted to the varied selection of colours and glazes we have and then to the attention to detail. Uh, we've been here 16 years so on a number of occasions throughout the year you'll have repeat customers from people who are coming back into the country and want to bring home another gift to a loved one or for their own home.